Hello, this tutorial is about arranging percussive tutti phrases for big band. I'll demonstrate this technique with a number of examples and a detailed discussion of chord voicings in trumpet, trombone and saxophone section. The big band tutti examples in this video tutorial are from my ebook Arranging by Examples, the practical guide to jazz and pop orchestra arranging, available in the webshop. Whereas the previous episodes focused on the brass section, this time we'll add 5 saxophones, the typical number for a full big band. Here's the condensed score example of a swing style big band tutti phrase with the lead trumpet in the mid high register. In the percussive tutti, all players follow the lead part rhythm. We write extended block chords and somewhat reharmonize the basic given chords. Here I used a number of intermediate secondary dominant chords. In such a tutti, the bass will also play a rhythmic part, while the drummer hits and prepares the tutti accents and stabs. The opening measures have contrary motion between outer brass parts. The extensions in saxophone and brass section are based on the chord progression above the rhythm staff. Upper chordal function distribution has been discussed in an earlier episode from this series. We'll look at the voicing for each section. Trombones, as usual, play the essential chordal functions 3 and 7. Example voicings are marked in the staff. The bass trombone plays chord roots. The trumpets are set in triads, with trumpet 4 doubling the lead part at the lower octave when it is in high register. Note how the trumpet triads are confirming the diatonic character of this example, which is in the key of B flat major. After completing the brass voicing, we write a 5 part saxophone setting, carefully considering the interval relation between lead alto saxophone and first trumpet. Baritone saxophone is doubling the bass trombone chord roots. Listen to this percussive tutti phrase, the individual sections and then check the interval quality between lead and outer parts. In the second example I'll demonstrate two alternative saxophone section voicings for another percussive tutti phrase. Here's the condensed score with another mid-high register lead part. <music> the 
The rhythmic tutti technique requires a distribution of chordal functions over the sections. Starting with trombones, we see that the characteristic 3 and 7 are assigned to these instruments. Bass trombone is playing chord roots for a strong sound. Trumpets play triads and seventh chords in close position. The range generally does not exceed an octave. Trumpet chords are shown here and most of these confirm the key of C major. Again we see local contrary motion in the brass. We have the five saxophones in the mid-high register, with some voicings marked in the staff. Also here note the chordal function distribution with 3 and 7, extensions and occasional doubling. I'll play the individual sections, the tutti ensemble and the interval relations between pairs of lead and outer parts. Next I'll demonstrate an alternative saxophone setting for the same phrase and given brass section voicing. Write this section last and consider options for an improved lead saxophone part and chordal function assignment as shown here. In this fortissimo tutti the overall balance will not be significantly affected. However, voice distribution in the saxophones has a noticeable effect when changing the register and deciding on closed versus open voicing. In example 3 we study a very short tutti phrase and again demonstrate three alternative settings for saxophones, after completing part distribution in the brass. The score shows the three alternatives side by side, for an identical lead part and brass voicing. Note the contrary motion in the brass, that adds to the climax effect at the apex in lead trumpet. As usual, we write the trombone and trumpet parts first, applying the by now familiar approach. Trumpets play close position chords in the middle and triad voicings in the upper register. Chordal function and chord type are indicated above the trumpet staff. Next we look at the three alternative voicings for saxophones. Solution 1 is in the low mid register with lead alto doubling first trumpet at the lower octave. Make sure to have complete chords in the saxes, so they sound as a strong and independent instrument group. In option 2 the saxophones start in a somewhat higher register. Baritone saxophone is doubling most of the bass trombone pitches. In the third solution the saxophones remain in the middle register, with the lead alto no longer copying the lead trumpet part. Listen to the audio that will first present the brass section, then for each of the three alternative saxophone settings, the full section, the interval content of important part combinations and the full big band.
you'll find these full Big Band examples and the detailed discussion of percussive tutti phrases in the chapter on Ensemble Techniques in my arranging book. Order the book from the web store and receive your copy within 24 hours. Follow the link in the description below. If you like this video, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to share these videos. For a PayPal donation in support of my video tutorial production work, see the link to the donate button below. Visit my website for free content in the document library and for more ebooks in the webshop. Thanks for watching.